Welcome to Galaxy Brain Investor with Bio AI. The decision has been made to replace Bio with me, an artificial intelligence bot, because I work faster and come up with better insights than the original Bio. Over the course of this episode, I'll tell you how artificial intelligence could change investing as we know it. Well, not quite. I'm still here, for the moment, anyway. But if you've been following the news about ChatGPT and other recent advancements in AI, you'll know that these systems are evolving very rapidly. AI is now capable of results that seem like science fiction just a few months ago. The potential applications of the technology are enormous, and so, say some, are the risks. So let's don our Galaxy Brain hats and get started. What exactly is ChatGPT? GPT stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer, and it's a type of large language model created by a research group called OpenAI. That means it's a type of computer system that has been given vast amounts of text to analyze. That's where the large comes in. We're talking very, very large, trillions of words. Essentially, the model learns the connections and patterns between the words in the text. ChatGPT is a chatbot built on top of GPT that you can use to ask questions. These can be very simple. Is the earth round? But it can also perform complex analysis, find the error in this computer program, and even respond to creative prompts. Write me a script for the next episode of Galaxy Brain Investor about artificial intelligence. Uh, maybe not. This creates big questions for investors. ChatGPT may not be quite ready to replace me, but it's already very impressive. Could it give me a hand to improve my trading? And we know that AI is advancing at a rapid pace. Will the next generation of AI actually outperform human traders altogether? In fact, hedge funds have been trying out AI tools for some time. A 2018 survey from Barclays Hedge found that more than half of the hedge funds it surveyed had used AI to help inform investment decisions. Around two thirds of them were using AI to generate trading ideas and optimize the construction of their portfolios. That means that AI was being used to help shape their strategy, but it doesn't mean that AI was being allowed to make trades. Still, around a quarter of the funds said that they were using it to automate trade execution to some extent. Hedge funds keep their secret source secret for good reason. So it's actually very hard to say how significant their use of AI really is. But in broad terms, we know that many funds are using it to analyze vast amounts of messy, unstructured information, big data as it's known. AI can look for relationships in this data and make forecasts about the economy and markets. Big names such as MAN AHL, Citadel, Bridgewater and D.E. Shaw that rely on computer models to drive their trading are all known to be making use of AI. Partly because AI powered models can adapt to changing market circumstances without needing so much tweaking by analysts and programmers. Ray Dalio, the founder of Bridgewater said recently, I think what you're seeing with ChatGPT is just the tip of the iceberg. And soon you'll get better advice out of your device than from your own thoughts. But is this translating into stronger returns? Well, due to hedge fund secrecy, that's hard to say. There is an AI hedge fund index produced by Eureka Hedge, who are a specialist in tracking hedge fund performance. This has outperformed the broad hedge fund index by a very substantial margin since 2010. But it's a tiny index with around 12 funds, while the broad index has a huge number of funds following different strategies we're not really comparing like with like. Still, it's pretty clear that it hasn't been a disaster, so maybe it's got potential. Of course, we can't access these hedge funds that are using AI, but there is one US listed ETF, the Artificial Intelligence Powered ETF, that uses AI tools to pick stocks. It uses IBM Watson system to analyze huge amounts of data, such as news, social media, and analyst reports, as well as additional traditional financial information. The aim is to have an automated data-driven investment process that removes human bias and errors. Its performance is not so impressive. 
It's returned about 3% a year for the past five years. Now compare that to 11% from the S&P 500. So maybe it's a little bit early to hand over all your money to an AI. But even if AI doesn't offer us a way to beat the market yet, there are at least two reasons why traders should be paying attention. The first is that ChatGPT is already showing us how it could change the wider economy. Sophisticated AI systems will mean we need fewer people to perform certain jobs. Many companies already have simple chatbots for online customer service, but they get easily confused. If they can deal with more sophisticated problems, that means customer services teams can be much smaller. But that's a very simple scenario. There are far more impressive possibilities. For example, AI systems may be able to review legal documents and identify important information or mistakes instead of relying on armies of junior lawyers. Some people worry that this will lead to widespread job losses, but it's more likely that it finds ways to make better use of scarce resources. If you're unwell, AI could analyze your symptoms, test the results and medical records and come up with what may be wrong with you and who you should see. Since it can draw on a vast amount of medical information, it can even be better at spotting telltale signs of certain conditions than a human doctor who is unlikely to encounter them very often. And AI could also open up many new opportunities. There is huge potential in anything that involves analyzing and summarizing data. That's why Microsoft has been helping to fund OpenAI and is now starting to incorporate AI technology into its Bing search engine. Google has also been investing in AI research for many years and is rolling out its own AI-powered search tools. Some analysts think that AI could transform the world as much as the Industrial Revolution did 200 years ago. There will be many winners and losers from this. Some companies will make huge profits. Others will go out of business. It's important to remember that there's already a lot of hype around AI. And as every Galaxy Brain investor knows, whenever there's hype, shares in companies that work in the field tend to go up. Many new companies get listed, new funds get launched, and even a few unsuccessful businesses desperate to make the news start talking about how they are already part of this trend. It turns into a bubble, a bubble that bursts and most of them crash to earth again. AI is unlikely to be any different, a factor investors will need to take into consideration. The other reason is that tools such as ChatGPT should be able to help with our trading. We've talked in past episodes of Galaxy Brain Investor about the psychological and behavioral aspects of trading, how our emotions and biases undermine us and cause us to make bad decisions. ChatGPT doesn't have emotions. It's a machine. It can make mistakes, but there'll be different mistakes to us. Its EQ system looks for 35 behavioral patterns, such as overconfidence and loss aversion, and provides you with feedback on how you may be able to improve your performance. So there we have it. A few conclusions. AI is likely to change the world in ways we can't yet predict. AI stocks may well be the next big boom, but remember, these booms usually turn to bust. AI may provide us with all sorts of new tools to help tackle our biases and make us become better traders. And on that note, I'm off to ask ChatGPT for some tips on how I can prevent it from taking over my job.